So what you see here is a 12 inch ruler. You see that inches are represented there and in between each of the large numbers, which represent a whole inch, you see tiny little lines. Each of those lines represent something as well. And what I wanna do with this video is kinda of show you that visually and I think it will help you with your measure math. We're gonna call this measure math. Um, so many people struggle with this and I've done a lot of videos over the, year to, over the years to try and help. And this idea came to me and I wanna see if it'll make it really easy for you. So let's take this ruler, let's take away all of the inches except for one and let's look at just one inch. So here we are, one inch. So we've just broken that down to make it easier. What I'm gonna teach you here, I just want you to know, works inside of every single one of those inches. So when you go to look at the whole ruler, it'll work exactly the same way. Now, each of these little lines in the middle, see how they're like different heights? They all represent a different measure. Let's look at that. These are those measurements. And this is where it can get overwhelming. If you, like me, have an issue with numbers, and I know that not everyone has an issue with numbers, but I do. Numbers kind of jumble in my brain. And when I see them in a situation like this, it really overwhelms me. So I wanna take this and break it down and make it where you can always know what you're looking at on a ruler or a measuring tape or any measuring device. So let's take this one inch and break it down even further. So the inch you were just looking at with all of those fractions underneath it, this is the same thing that we're looking at right now. We just don't have the fractions and we don't have the different sizes of lines. What I wanna tell you is every inch is made up of 16 equal parts or sixteenths. Now we don't do a lot with sixteenths. We don't like to play with sixteenths because they're very, very tiny. And you can see that here. Each of these little tiny individual lines represent one sixteenth of an inch. So if you counted these, there would be sixteen sixteenths in an inch. Let's do something fun. Let's remove every other sixteenth. When we do that, we get a new measurement. The reason I wanna show you this is because over the years I've taught you that every two sixteenths is an eighth, but I want you to see it like this. There we go. I've removed every other sixteenth and now you can see the eighths. And guess what? There are eight equal parts. So an inch is made up of 16 sixteenths. Take away every other sixteenth and then it is made up of eight eighths. Now we can break this down even further. Let's do another step. Here you see, I want us to remove every other eighth and get another measurement. When we do that, we get fourths and there are four fourths in a whole inch. Isn't that interesting? So every other sixteenth removed is an eighth. Every other eighth removed is a fourth, right? What happens if we remove every other fourth? We get two halves. So these are our half inches. Now you guessed it, if we remove that half, we're back to a hole. Now do you see every one of those lines is actually a 16th, but we're gonna look at them differently. Let's look at that first measure we had that had all of the numbers on it. Now I want you to look. If you look at the first number, you see the first line is 1 16th. That makes sense, because that's what we saw in the beginning when we saw the 16ths. The second one is 1 8th. That also makes sense because if we remove this every other 16th, we get an 8th. Now I want you to notice that third line is a 16th. Now why is it? Because it lands between an 8th. Make sense? Now you have a 4th. What is 1 4th? 2 eighths. That's right. Do you see how it works? So each of those lines creates something else, but when you look at it in a way where you're just removing sixteenths and removing eighths and removing fourths to make another number, that's how you get a hole. Now, hopefully when you see a ruler that looks something like this or similar to this, you'll know exactly what you're looking at. You know all of those lines are a sixteenth and the way you treat that sixteenth turns it in to eighths and quarters and halves and holes. I hope this helped you. This graphic came to me. I was getting ready for work one morning. And I went, you know what? If I could show this as a whole and then take things away, I think it might make sense. So that for you guys, when you're going to your rulers and to your trimmers, you'll be able to see it in a different way. And hopefully it'll make more sense and just quickly come to you whenever you're doing any measurements. It's very different than how I've taught this before. So what I wanna do is I wanna link those videos in the description as well. So if this one doesn't speak to you, maybe one of my other teaching methods for measurement will. 
All right, guys, that's measure math. I hope it helps you. I hope you have a great uh, time when you're crafting and you already understand what your ruler is before you even have to look at it. I hope that's what today did. Don't forget to give me a subscribe by hitting that red button. It's free. Just click the button and subscribe. Also, if you enjoy this kind of teaching video, give me a thumbs up and then I can make more like this because I know that you like them and it also lets YouTube know that you think I'm doing a good job. Thanks so much for being here today and until next time, bye now.